YouTubers, it's me, Johnny. This is a short video on the PPP, or the PPE loans, the payroll protection loans that the U.S. government's putting out. Or rather, this is a video on how stupid the. It's going to use some coarse language. Since I'm not fully clothed, I'll just put it this way. This is a video about all the dumb fuckers out there who don't know how to commit fraud, or, in other words, people committing fraud and theft these days are a bunch of stupid fuckers. Anyways, normally I'm not this vulgar, but tonight I'm just going to keep it real for you. I've been watching a lot of videos on all the PPE loans that the government handed out. These are the chaps who fraudulently set up LLCs in the United States to claim they had all these employees to get loans that they wouldn't have to pay back to the government as long as they didn't lay off these their employees, but they were no there were no employees or they just took the money and they spent it on uh, cars, trucks, real estate, vacations, whatever. All this stuff is starting to leak out in the press. And uh, a lot of these people are getting caught and put in jail. Now, I don't want to make too many comments on the low IQs of a lot of people nowadays. But it seems like people nowadays are so stupid that they can't even pull off stuff like that. Or let me put it this way. The criminal classes in the U.S. Are the, or let me just put it this way. The more upper class, the more upper classes, the really, really smart people, they can pull this off and never get caught. But when average people do this, it just seems like everything goes to the dogs. I've been watching uh, <laughs> video after video about all these people getting caught for PPE or the whatever they call it with this fraud that they did to get government they got these government mon monies and they didn't use the monies to pay for their for employees they just spent it on whatever they spend it on and you watch or if you're plugged into financial twitter or if you're plugged into certain things like that you'll recognize a lot of people on wall street um grab these monies they paid out the money in bonuses and nothing's basically going to happen because that's the way it works in the U.S. So if you're connected up to the upper classes, you can take the money and pay it out as bonuses. And these are employees you weren't going to lay off anyways. <laughs> and you can just pay it out to yourself as a bonus. Meanwhile, there's a lot of other people in the lower classes who did this. The reason this is brought up to my attention is not just the videos I watch, but I can't say too much, but I'm I'm very, very aware of small smaller banks in the U.S., who had record amounts, I mean record amounts of people starting LLCs and getting these loans and then getting caught. Other than saying that, that's all I'm going to say, but these banks all across the United States and these smaller banks, they got record amounts of people bringing in newly set up LLCs to get these loans from the government, claiming they had employees when they didn't have and all that kind of thing. Anyways, um... I'm not going to get too in depth about it because I'm just lazy. But a lot of these people, what they did was they set up LLCs in their own names. So here's what I mean: they use their own social security numbers to get an EIN number. To get the um, number, you need to use your real social security number, but it's not that. They create another tax ID number based on your social security number to do that. That's how they can trace all this stuff and catch up with you. So there was apparently a lot of people who thought. By using the real social security number, they got a tax tax ID number that was different. They would not get caught. When you see some of these videos out there, you'll see people who are very shocked to see police come to their actual doorstep where they actually live to um, arrest them and take them away in handcuffs. This is kind of funny. I'm surprised they didn't think. Of, I'm surprised they didn't think of this when when they did all this. It's just really quite amazing. So you realize a lot of the people who'd committed this fraud and theft didn't really think it through have no under they have no understanding of how privacy works and how to I don't want to say put up a Chinese wall or put up a put up some things some barriers so they can't figure out who actually did it they actually went inside of banks applied for these loans they're on camera they fill out these applications online and in person so they have all this documentation of all this fraud they committed and um it's it's coming back to bite them in the butt. I would and I've seen some commentary on this on the internet or on YouTube pointing out like if you 
if you were going to do this, and I don't suggest you do do this, but they were just point out if you are going to do stuff like this, you you need to, excuse me, get a lawyer, a nominee, a homeless person on the street, pay them five hundred five hundred to a thousand bucks to get their social security number, and an address that they use. So nothing sent to you, some nothing connects you with this. I would even go further and say when you fill out all this stuff online, you don't have any computers, um, anything electronic like a computer, a phone, um, laptops, anything electronic connecting you to this fraud. Like for example, you don't go out and buy these things with your credit card. You do not go out in the United States and buy these things with your credit card or anything. If you do, pay cash in another country, have your wife or mistress, well not your wife, but your mistress, someone else pay for this stuff in another country. Or have the homeless person buy this stuff in their own name and you pay for it, of course. Give them some cash. Set up the LLC with based off their social security number. Now this is what I saw online. I'm not telling you to do this. This is what I saw online. Uh, let me think now who, who was, whose video was it, who posted this. Um, um, Glenn and Cameron. I follow Glendon Cameron. If you if you do, if you saw some of his latest videos, you probably saw Glendon talk about this. He said he'd pay 500 bucks. What he didn't say or what he didn't suggest was, like, you don't even want electronics hooked up to your name. You want, like, um, all this stuff that someone else bought. So nothing can be connected to you. Um, not your credit card from buying these electronics. Not anything. You don't want to be seen on camera entering the bank. You don't want to be in the bank filling out paperwork, nothing. All this is going to be done through this homeless person or a nominee or a lawyer, preferably a lawyer a lawyer outside the U.S. because it's very easy for a lawyer in Central America, South America, Europe, the Caribbean to set up an LLC in the U.S. They don't need your ID or anything like that. Well, if they know you well enough, they won't ask for that. But of course, they're assuming you're a good guy. You're not c committing some kind of fraud. But anyways, the point of this video is not to commit fraud. I'm just making some commentary on some stupid stuff I've been seeing. It just makes me laugh and chuckle because the very, very wealthy elites, uh, to put it seriously, they've committed this fraud. They're going to never get caught for this. They're never going to have their name sullied in the press. They're going to get totally get away with this scot-free. Meanwhile, a lot of the people in the lower classes who didn't think things through kind of the criminal the lower class delinquents people who didn't think this thing through they're going to end up going to jail or prison end up losing a lot of freedom and liberty and all that and it's kind of sad but what i've realized we've gotten to the point now where people just they have no idea about privacy they have no idea why you need it they have no idea how to commit these kinds of frauds without getting caught whereas the upper classes the more educated people um, who don't need to really do this. They thought the whole thing through. They know how to do it. And they're not going to get any kind of, well, in general, not going to have any repercussions from this, which just makes me chuckle. But th that's the state of affairs in the United States. So this is a video of me just telling you how it is, in my opinion, late on, I think it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday, having a few beers. But anyways, all this... Um, PPE fraud or whatever the hell they call it. I've been watching videos. It's just, just been making me chuckle how how it's all played out. How depending on your social class, the people in more the upper classes have been getting away with all this fraud. The people in the lower classes, you just see video after video of the police arresting these people for for buying expensive vacations, expensive cars, second second houses, um, and just getting caught. And they fill out everything, did everything in such a way that the police are led right to their door. They're being arrested. They're shocked that the police are arrested. You know, they just can't believe it. Even though if you use your social security number to get the tax ID number, that's tied to you. If you go into a side of bank, they got pictures of you in the bank. Fill any, if you fill out any application inside a bank or online, they have all that. They have all this fraud detection software that just... Just you don't want to do this kind of thing. Maybe in the 70s, 80s, and the early 90s, you get away with it, but not anymore. Even fake ID. I mean, I'm aware of people who can claim to get you real fake ID. Even if you can, I wouldn't do it because they, meaning the, the, the banks and things like that, they know it. They just know it. Um, anyhow, 
it's, it's just sad to see all these dummies totally get caught and now they're going to spend a good chunk of their life in prison for for buying vacations and, and, and kind of cars and then there's all the oh, what do they call it it's not tax fraud it's uh when you send money offshore there's a certain certain name for that kind of crime I forget what it is um, wire fraud it's not wire fraud but it's when you wire money in the commission of a crime whether it's on sh offshore or onshore I forget what the term is but they're doing all that shit thinking they're clever by wiring it offshore or wiring it to other places inside the US they the government knows everything about that and it's just really really amazing to me that people don't know how to protect their privacy and their interests and it's also interesting that they're willing to do all this. Um, it, that it is what it is. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'm just making a video on all this, the stuff I've been seeing in the press lately regarding this, this fraud on all the people who grabbed the money for the PPE loans. That's it for now. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.